Hello everyone! Start off by placing the shape of your hand on a sheet of paper and then add the ground. Add eyes and a beak and then add some feathers to the back. Add some leaves on top and colour it in as you please. For our next craft, we are once again placing the shape of our hands in the shape as such. We will be making a dog barking. The thumb will be the ears, add eyes and a little nose and colour it in. Also, do not forget to colour in the eyes. Following this, add teeth to the dog and add it on both the top and the bottom and make it look spiky. You may also add a little tongue should you please. Add a little collar at the back with the bell and add some fur. Proceeding this, you may colour it in as you please. We have chosen to colour our dog in brown. For our next craft, once again, place the shape of your hand as such but make it look like petals. After this, connect each of the petals to the central edge. Draw lines from the base upwards to make it look like the fragments on the petal. After this, draw the stem and then draw a lotus leaf. We will be drawing a lotus. We have chosen to colour it in the colour purple. After this, colour the lotus leaf in green. Line it with dark green and shade it as you please to make it look better. For our next craft, we will be placing the shape of our hand once again and connecting it at the bottom as such to make it look like a little ghost. However, we will be drawing a fin at the end. Add some eyes and colour it in. Also add a little nose and a mouth. Add some sharp fangs to make the teeth and then add some whiskers as well as the belly body. Colour it or outline it in blue. You have yourself a seal. Remember not to overline so that some parts aren't darker than the rest while colouring it. For our next craft, outline the shape of your hand putting your middle finger in. Then draw spikes where the middle finger starts and add eyes and a little nose. Do not forget to add sharp spiky teeth as well as the tongue. Add more spike-like shapes at the back to symbolize the fur of the dog and then color the insides of the ear of the dog in pink. You may also color the dog's tongue in red color. Following this, you can color the dog itself in any color that you want. We have chosen brown and yellow as such. For the next craft, closely outline the shape of your hand on a sheet of paper, draw a ground at the bottom and then draw some T-shaped leaves on top of each of the fingers. Repeat this process until you finish all of the fingers. Following this, you may add some birds in the sky, you may add eyes and a nose, a cute little mouth if you would like to do so. And you may also add small objects such as mushrooms in the side or some grass as well on the ground. After this, you may color it in as you please. You may use green for the leaves, you may use brown for the branches which is what we have chosen to do. However, However, get creative and make each of the leaves in different colours as well. For our next craft, outline the shape of your hand but only the knuckles portion of it. Make it into the shape of a square. Proceed to draw eyes in the centre of the body and then add a little nose. We will be doing Spongebob. So then add cute little eyelashes and the cheeks as well as a broad smile that he usually has on his face. Add his cute little teeth as well as the tongue at the bottom and then add his square bottoms. Do not forget his little bow tie. Add his legs as well as his hands after this and then colour him in yellow as this is the colour that he always is. Make sure that you make him as animated as possible and also as happy because that is how the character is. You may color his eyes in blue. Thank you for watching.